In this video, you are going to learn how to write a summary. At some points of your academic journey, you will write a summary as part of your course requirements. It may be a summary of the article or story you have read or movie you have watched. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to define a summary, determine the steps in writing a summary, and write the summary of the given article or passage. What is a summary? A summary is a shortened or a brief version of the original text. It presents the main idea of the original text with the necessary details that support it and it is written in your own words. Characteristics of a good summary A good summary is shorter than the original text. Its length depends on how long the original text are. It should be long enough to cover the most important information. A rule of thumb for a summary is that it should be one-fourth to one-third of the original text. However, it will still vary greatly, especially if it is a summary of a book, novel, or longer articles. Sometimes, the length also depends on the purpose of the summary. A good summary presents the original ideas or thoughts from the original text without adding the writer's personal opinions or judgments about the topic. It means that a good summary only includes what is in the passage. A good summary is written through writer's own words. This means that the original text is not exactly copied but paraphrased. When you paraphrase, be sure the original ideas remain the same. The main purpose of paraphrasing is to avoid plagiarism. General Steps in Writing a Summary Step 1. Analyze the question or prompt. Be sure you know the task or what you are going to summarize before dealing with the text. Step 2. Read the assigned text. In order for you to get all the important pieces of information to be included in your summary, be sure you read the whole text first. Step 3. Annotate or take down notes. You can annotate by highlighting some keywords or important pieces of information from the text. By doing so, it is easier for you to find those pieces of information when you write your summary. Step 4. Start your summary by writing the main idea of the passage in one statement. For instance, the main idea of the given passage earlier is that young individuals should not smoke for multiple reasons. The main idea is what the entire passage is all about. You can get it by reading and understanding the text. Also, it relates to what the prompt asked. Step 5. Make outlines for your supporting details or evidence using the key phrases you underlined earlier. In writing a summary, it is also important to include the necessary details that support the main idea or thesis statement. Step 6. You are now ready to write your final summary. You just need to combine the three big ideas, the main idea, supporting details, and a concluding statement. Remember, if you write a summary that involves multiple sources, please be sure to have a proper citation especially in presenting your supporting details or evidence. Lastly, always remember you are not going to add your personal opinions, insights, nor judgments in your summary. Are you now ready to write your summary? <laughs>